This is yet another German movie, but with a fair bit of Spanish thrown into the mix. But how it handles that part is, well, let's just call it rather interesting. Because it's pretty much impossible to explain, but it involves some creative dubbing and subtitles. And that's not the only creative part of this movie either. It does some other interesting stuff too, with the sets and some of the other aspects as well. Now on the surface level, this movie has a very grainy vintage throwback aesthetic. And the score is mostly this simplistic old school synth score as well. And this very much looks and feels like an homage to 70s and 80s cinema. So much so that it didn't at first really stand out as having an identity of its own. It very much wears its influences on its sleeve and it almost felt just like a plain old ripoff at first. However, what it does with this story and the execution, a bit further into the movie, definitely makes it a unique experience. I mean, I have to give it that, because it did some really interesting things. It tried something very different, and I believe it achieved what it set out to do. And from a technical perspective, I will say this is not a poorly made movie either. It looks good, the editing and the way it's shot works very well, and even the sound design, which gets kind of complicated, is also handled very well. With that being said, it's a very short movie, just over an hour. And it's a movie that's in no hurry, especially in the first like 30 minutes. I mean, there are scenes that last for minutes and barely anything happens at all. And to be honest, I found those parts generally to be pretty boring. And then we get to the plot itself, which at first is almost impenetrable. It just doesn't do the audience any favors with trying to get you to understand what's going on. Now things do clear up a bit further into the movie, but it still doesn't really explain a lot of details. About what's actually going on and how it all works, but I think I got the gist of it. And at the end of the day, I guess this is some sort of a possession movie. And I mean, I've seen plenty of those before, but none like this. So kudos for at least finding a unique approach to the genre. However, I would be lying if I said I liked the movie as a whole very much. Because, well, it just didn't really manage to grip me and I didn't find it very compelling. And if you make a movie this short, you gotta make it concise and to the point. There's just no room for scenes that go on for minutes and where virtually nothing happens. And listen, I get it, it's a stylistic choice, I get what they were trying to do with it. But at least for me, it didn't really work. But I will say that I did like the general look and feel of the movie. And I really appreciated a lot of the creativity that went into this. And the resourcefulness when it came to some things too that were probably done out of necessity. Because of budgetary reasons I would imagine. Speaking of which, this is set in the 80s I'd assume. And the sets and everything else did look very convincing. So the overall production design also gets a thumbs up from me. But yeah, the characters and the story I didn't find to be all that engaging and therefore I didn't really come away from this liking it very much. And that's about it, I appreciated the movie in a sense, but didn't really like it. But how about it, would I recommend it? I mean, if you're looking for some art house horror, I guess. Otherwise I don't see most people enjoying this very much. So you can probably skip it, or don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.